Hey, Mike Phillips down here, 3D Garage. Um, I posted a couple of videos on this car and it is uh, Tuesday night, uh, December 6th, and I'm gonna go ahead and knock this out tonight, uh, all the way from sanding, compounding, polishing, waxing, get it done. But I just wanted to share this. Uh, this is the Flex Pixie, and this is our sanding system. This is the 3D dry sanding system. This is a three inch uh, sanding disc. And um, here you can see that's clear coat paint. And I just sanded down the top of this fender. And I teach a, I teach a, a technique called the rule of thumb. I say about a thumbnail distance away from edges. And that's because you don't want to put sanding works where you can't put a spinning buffer, okay? You're gonna burn through the edges. So if you actually go to car shows and start looking at the finish on a car show, you'll see uh, a professionally sanded car, you know, no orange peel, no surface texture. But as soon as you start getting to the edges, uh, raised body lines, you'll usually see it kind of kick back in because like all the other people in the world, just like me, you know, it would take a million years to sand this close to this edge and this edge and this edge and then knock all, get all your sand works out without making a mistake at some point. So, you know, keep that in mind. It's, it's a lofty goal to aim for 100%. But I live in the real world, and um, so I teach the rule of thumb. I stay about a thumbnail distance away from edges, and then, here, let me show you. Then, when I bring my, my spinning rotary buffer down here, I don't have to try to put that thing on the edge. And I've been working around this car and buffing it out, and look, there's no black paint on my pad. So I've sanded down the whole front clip, uh, you, I got this part here. I'll sand it down and cover it up to keep any sanding dust when I tackle this. I made another video, so that half got done in the video. Anyway, um, if you do any kind of sanding, I mean, I don't see how a shop gets by without this dry sanding system and this really cool um, cordless. You know, to me, this is a three-inch mini sander. I also, uh, just let me show you real quick, Flex has a, um, Flex has a, a two-inch backing plate, okay? And so I took an interface pad and cut it to fit. And then I took and cut, I just took some uh, scissors and I just cut some circles out. See that? Here's one that's been used, some two inch. And that enables me to sand this section. This is a panel, this is a raised body line, this is an edge. So I was able to get in there and sand that down. And of course, I'm gonna get up here and I'm gonna use that, uh, that two inch disc in here. And in here, you can see where I didn't sand a lot because this is a, a concave, this is a very concave curve. So it's easy to sand the, the outer edges, but it's hard to get in here. So I'm gonna switch back over to this, the two inch pad to get all the way down here and continue down the car. Anyway, you can get all these products at 3dproducts.com, you know, and I always appreciate when people get their information from me, you know, that's, that's called your profit. The information that helps you to do the thing you're trying to do, getting the help, that's, that's your profit. I helped you to do it. And my profit is when you reciprocate and purchase from us instead of one of the other uh, online retailers that didn't help you. It's the same analogy as going out to a restaurant. You know, you get really good service from the waitress. You don't leave and go to the next restaurant and give a stranger, a, you know, a strange uh, waitress or waiter the tip. You give the person that helped you the tip. So, you know, something to think about. Everybody can do what they want, but I do. A, I just had a guy call me up and he says he's been uh, following me for years and he just placed an order for the Red Beast inside from 3D Products instead of somebody else because he wanted to uh, repay me for all the help I've given more years. And I do appreciate that, Jonathan, thank you. Anyway, uh, I'm gonna keep moving around this car. Still have all the vertical panels to do, compound polish and wax. And I'll take a couple more videos as I work around it. And of course, a finished video. Again, 3dproducts.com is where you can get the sanding discs, the interface pads, and the Flex Pixie. Later.